Pittsburgh city leaders are going all in to try to curb gun violence. Now they're calling for common sense measures in the wake of the synagogue shooting back in October that left 11 people dead. Rick Earl has more on how leaders are pushing for gun control. Enough is enough and this has to stop. Standing side by side, local and state leaders unveiled new legislation to stop gun violence. The proposals come after the shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Squirrel Hill that killed 11 people. We simply cannot accept this kind of violence as a normal part of American life. And now we can't wait any longer. The proposed legislation bans assault rifles like the AR-15 used in the synagogue shooting. It also prohibits the use of bump stocks and armor-piercing ammunition. The third bill gives the courts the power to remove guns from people who are a danger to themselves or others. This legislation is not only misguided, but it's illegal. Gun rights advocates like Kim Stolfer say state law prohibits municipalities from enacting any gun control legislation, and they're prepared to fight it in court. State Representative Dan Frankel disagrees. Pittsburgh has the right to regulate the weapons that endanger our residents. State legislators should step aside if they are not willing to, to step up and pass the laws at the state level. And the mayor says he's reached out to more than 100 cities across the country in an effort to galvanize support to take on gun lobbyists. Today in Pittsburgh City Council and in City Hall right behind us, but it will be echoed throughout the city halls across Pennsylvania and across the United States. City and state leaders supporting the measures hope they can get approval by February.